This is Sirius Rihanna right now. Good Didn't morning. Me. Good morning. We bring you the headline news of Alcova, Wyoming. Fly Reef. Reef Fly oh. Shop. I Why know. Do we... <laughs> okay. Reef Fly Shop. So we are in Alcova, Wyoming at a little place called Reef Fly Shop, which we keep calling Fly Reef. But <laughs> potatoes, potatoes. Um, this place is pretty great. Um, it's, it's literally middle of nowhere. So it has no wi -Fi. a slight downfall. <laughs> well, yeah. the only downfall is we have no cell phone reception. We don't really care about any other, other stuff. Um, let's see, it's about 30 minutes outside of Casper. Straight drive, super nice drive actually. Um, but this little place is great. They have, what, a dozen spots of which all of them have full hookup except for one, two, three, four of them. They are mainly a fishing guard outfitter. So this, um, this little town sits right on the North Plate River, which is a big, big fishing river. And this is a big, big fishing... P-L-A-T-T-E. P-L-A-T-T-E. I call it Plate. <laughs> basically one of the top spots in the U.S. to come fishing. Um, these guides, a lot of them work here in the summertime and then they go elsewhere in the winter and then they come back here in the summer. Um, so really the campground is not like their primary anything. And because of that, we seem to find ourselves here alone all the time. Um, which is great. Which is awesome. There's no Wi-Fi, which kind of sucks. And there's no cell phone reception unless you have AT&T, which kind of sucks because we have Verizon. Um, however, there's a little bar across the street called Sunset um, that has Wi-Fi. And um, if we walk enough to that edge of the campground, um, then we actually can get a couple bars and check stuff. Um, maybe not stream stuff, but we can definitely um, check. Oh, look Check. at there. Speak of the devil. I just got a text. And this is so weird because it's so spotty. Some some days you'll get service and other days, same spot, no service. I mean, we all know that really wind does not carry cell phone reception, but it feels like it's sometimes around here. What do we love about this campground? Well, A, there's nobody here ever. They're um, very accommodating. Um, the guys at the Very at the tolerating. Front are, that's a better. Tolerating of us. <laughs> we have definitely made a splash. Um, mm -hmm. We've met most of the guides. There's... Um, uh, uh, Broken Bag Jack, his name is Jack, not Broken Bag Jack, but he's awesome. Um, then there is Sweet Eric, who is, he's I think, the... like, number one guide here, maybe. Oh, I thought he's he like was He's, like, in just... charge of a lot of things. I thought he was front desk. No, 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 he's, like, the top guide. Dude, oh, he took oops. Luke Bryant Sorry, out. Sorry, Eric. Luke Bryant <laughs> was here. Brian. <laughs> Brian. Um, he actually, it's funny, because he apparently was giving an interview to somebody and mentioned this place, and then not even two weeks later, those people show up, and we met them, and two days before they got here, while well, Luke Bryan was here fishing. Um, flew in on a helicopter. Apparently at the bar when we were over there, we didn't even realize it. <laughs> we did not until his friend asked for Rihanna's number and she politely declined. <laughs> Very politely declined. <laughs> uh, again, they Very have more people. dog friendly. That's what we always look for. Yeah, they're dog friendly. They like our dogs. And there's a road, the Reef Gray Road, which I'll show a little bit of it, but we walk the dogs down there off leash all the time. Uh, don't beautiful. do it in the morning. We get dirty looks. It's really busy between 6.30 and 7.30, and sadly, that's when I wake up and usually walk the dogs, but I've been holding off um, and not doing that so much, and we wait for everybody to go and do their drop-offs because the dam is down that way, as well as um, another small campground, which I don't think can accommodate anything bigger than, like, a 15 to 20 foot. Wait, there's an RV site down there? Yeah, but for tiny ones. Oh, I didn't know. And there is Wi-Fi or cell phone reception down there, and it's way cheaper than over here. Um, it's sixty dollars a night for full hookup here, forty if you don't have the sewer. Um, but they do have a dump station, which is um, actually a pretty nice one. Um, what we don't like about Fly Reef Shop, we don't like, the only thing we do not their like is their sites are a little wonky. Yeah, that's the only thing we'll give them a bad nod on. Um, <laughs> Their back ends are really should be pull throughs because sometimes the hookups are on the wrong side. So make sure you ask for the right side of the hookups. We and then can't, we can't, we have to dump by hand because the the, the septic is a little higher than us yeah. and we were super unleveled. So we were having a very hard time. Um, Unless we put emptying. Like now, again, we're here for like 10 days. We're here for 10 days. Um, if you're here for two, three days, not a big deal. So that's probably the only thing we are unhappy about, but that's not even making us unhappy. It's just, you know, twice a day we have to go and deal with water stuff. 
what else do we not like about here? We're trying to be fair. Front desk hours are very sporadic. Not that we need them, but it seems it's like the few times we've always needed Because like you somebody. said, their priority is the fishing. So once, yeah. once they go out on their tours, then the shop is temporarily closed. Oh, so, Lucky yeah. the bar, the bartender. He's a cool dude. Yeah, across like the street, thing. Sunset <laughs> Grill. Um, probably the only bar left in America you can smoke inside. Yeah, yeah. Literally only bar left in America, which is not great because I had been pretty good about not smoking until I came here. <laughs> I had been pretty good about not drinking either, but there's not much to do here. So we always find ourselves at the bar across the street with our computers in our own defense doing work. And we then, are you being know, productive. We're trying to be productive. We are. I have edited so far five or six videos. So we are being productive. And um, the fly shop is actually really nice. People like come here from far away to get some of their fly stuffs because it's really nice. It actually really is. Um, we get free ice all the time. <laughs> Don't tell Trent. <laughs> oh, they also have these cute little cabins. Those stay pretty booked um, yeah. consistently. They have four cabins here um, that do seem to be booked a lot during the week as well as weekends. But they also have a lodge down the road, which is their main thing. And so if you stay at the lodge and you get the fishing guide, you actually get three meals a day with. And I think it's something like $5.95 a night. Look at you, good lord. Um, Where did you get all this information? I do my research before we go somewhere most of the times. So. Oh, and... um. <laughs> I was looking for a nice spot to sit while waiting for you, so I did do a lot of research on this spot and the Saratoga spot. Kyle's um, fins and feathers. Oh, 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 and um, yeah, so we met a bunch of the guides. Um, Jack is great, Eric is great, Ian is great. Uh, Kyle, he's not part of this one, but he is awesome. His company is called Fins and Fishes, or Fins and Feathers, fins or and Feathers and Fishes. We'll put the info below. Fins and Feathers. Fins and Feathers, and he's got two dogs. Water and a river. And uh, he takes them hunting with him, and you obviously as well if you book it with him. But he's pretty great. He lives right across the street. In fact, I feel like everybody lives across the street. Yeah, I think most of the guys do. That's across the street, <laughs> our lovely bar. They do have showers here, and they do have bathrooms, but there is no laundry facility. You do no have to go to Casper. Laundry. The laundry place in Casper is really nice and is right on this road. So everything you need in Casper is literally right on this road. So you get onto the road, straight shot. take a right, straight shot, 20 miles down the road. You got everything you need. You got the big old Walmart. You got big old gas station. You got just your normal civilization stuff. 20, 25 miles down the road. Um, and it's a beautiful drive. It's 70 miles an hour. So you can actually do it pretty quickly. The demographic who come here, obviously they like to fish, but everyone that we've met we've made friends with here They're like all... super nice actually yeah. all the guests have been really nice i think we've like literally spoken to everybody that has checked in here we have given them the low down on everything mm -hmm. um actually twice though people we've met this was multiple trips for them here and they don't want to tell anybody about it they might hate mm. us for making this video because yeah. if ever we do become <laughs> popular then... and y'all see this video and you see the footage you might want to come here um you can't book online you have to call or email, but they're pretty receptive, honestly. They're also really lax. I mean, well, I guess most RV places are. Whenever you come in, if they're not there, they just they have your name up on the board and you can just check yeah, yourself Yeah, basically. In. Well, there's even if they're here, you they don't really check you in. Yeah. There's just your name is on the board with what site number you're in, and you kind of figure it out on your own. And if you have issues and there's nobody here, well, just kind of do whatever you got to do, which is what we did. Um, they put us in a site that we thought was a back in, and technically it is a back in. Um, but we pulled through because the hookups would have been on the wrong side. Um, but honestly, in the 10 days we've been here, 20 days, at this point, three <laughs> weeks, I'm gonna say we've been alone for two of those three weeks, which is freaking phenomenal. Yeah. Rihanna and I are loud. This place echoes. It doesn't matter. We're alone. I've gotten and slight cabin fever, for lack of a better term, but I'm, I'm still enjoying my time. <laughs> <laughs> you are from staying in here too Just, long? Uh, <laughs> well, we're also not exploring the area. So there's a bunch to do in Alcova that we just haven't done for some reason. Um, I guess between just, I guess we were tired. This trip can be I exhausting, I don't know, it's just honestly. this area, well, this area, I think it just kind of- Puts you in a vacation yeah. mode. We've yeah. never been, I don't think I've ever felt this vacation-like. Um, I've never felt this free of responsibilities because we can't do anything <laughs> we can't do anything no, 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 except no for stuff that's on offline so yeah. basically video editing which i'm doing non-stop but um i know my life was a little cray cray before and so i never really took a break but if this is what vacations are all about then i should have taken a lot more of them because i don't know i feel like i'm a teenager again so basically, yeah, very vacation mode here, which is kind of nice. Um, but the reservoir is right there, like literally right there. And um, we walk around that lake every day. 
Like five times a day? Like five times a day. The dogs love it because we're able to leave them off leash. That road is not really busy. But yeah, all in all, probably one of our, every time we find a good campground, we're like, oh, this is our favorite campground. And then we come to another one. We're like, oh, this is our favorite <laughs> campground. Yeah. Um, I'd say this is at least number one, two or three um, of the hundred campgrounds we've done so far. And the owners, it's kind of funny because the owners have two Airstreams, mm -hmm. Bam and Bam. They're just models. They're props. just literally <laughs> models. They're just sitting there. We parked in front of one of them the other day because we didn't want, yeah, we got in trouble for that one. <laughs> we didn't want the car around our Airstream so that we had unobstructed views with our windows. So we parked it over there because, well, you know, there's nobody here. And it's the owners. It's not like anybody, well, anyways, we got in trouble. We had to move it to the overflow <laughs> parking. This place seems to be like a little secret that nobody knows about except for the fishing guide part of it. And I'm sure the lodge, the lodge seems to be always full, honestly. Um, and it's a pretty big, I think they can sleep 12 over there or they have 12 rooms. So that means, It's like I a motel type gig? No, no, no. No, over there? Yeah, the It's lodge. more like a non-bed and breakfast, bed and breakfast. There is plenty of spots outside to sit. And if it's too hot, which happens a lot around here, mm -hmm. um, and the wind, when it's really hot and the wind is blowing, it is it's so nice. perfect. But the wind in Wyoming is windy. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes it's a little much. But if it's not windy and you're hot, they have one, two tables over there under covered. That's where I've been sitting and doing my computer work because I have cabin fever. We're done sitting inside. We're definitely outdoorsy kinds. But um, yeah, we got a nice tan all the time, even when we're not trying to tan. Yeah. Um, Ian did take us on the water and it was freaking beautiful. Like that river, it's North Plate River. I didn't really get to see much because I napped, but it was fun while I, what I do you remember of it? Yeah, that's about all I can think of right now. All right, cool. Well, come to Fly Reef Shop. Reef Fly Shop, right, Fly Reef. Oh, flip. I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> it's been like that all week. Yeah, fly reef. Fly reef. Reef fly. Reef fly shop. Reef fly shop. Because okay. it's a fly shop on reef road. Great reef road. <laughs> reef fly shop. Yeah. We got it. Cool. That's probably way longer than the video is. <laughs>